Morning all. Um, no, your eyes are not deceiving you. This is SJ with her. Um, I do like the thing that crawled out of the well, don't I? You know, was it in the ring? Uh, I can't remember. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> um, it will be tied up again in a bit. Um, I just really needed to just kind of blah, my hair. Anyway, this video I want to do now, I sat in bed, I was up at, God, I woke up a couple of hours ago, um, I'm going to be doing some shopping for my boyfriend and um, some, yeah, I've got a hank load of washing up to dry because I do my washing overnight because um, it's cheap. Uh, electric and I can set my washer to come on at like um, yeah middle of the night when it's cheap rate so I do that anyway this video is in response to a comment a young lady oh I don't know she's a young lady I'm not quite sure who whom she is uh, Emily um, about on the video where I wrote is my liver really eating itself and obviously I went for the scan and everything and found out that actually it's not anywhere near close to sort of eating itself. Um, and I did quite a long reply to Emily but I thought, well I don't know how many other people might read that. So I'd like to just quickly talk about that, you know my version of quick but I'll try and keep it quick. Um, is that... Yes, Emily, I am scared of dying because I don't want to die. So I'm just pulling all the hair out of my bubble. Balls. I don't want to die um, soon. We're all going to die eventually because we are. So, sorry, I'm just putting it in the bin. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah we're all, we're all going to die. Um. What happens, and this is the most deadly thing with anorexia, as I said back to Emily, uh, for the benefit of all others, um, when I was like seven and a half stone, because I've got quite, I've actually got quite, a, I'm not small framed as a girl, you know, like, yeah, I'm not, I don't know how to put it, I've got kind of broad shoulders and my hips are a not very big hip. Do you know what I mean? I'm kind of like a more manly sort of shape than womanly. Anyway, um, therefore bones sort of, you know, I noticed only on other patients when I've been inpatient that when you can see the bone structure of people, we're all so different and yeah. When I was like seven and a half stone, and then I found out I'd just gone into seven, seven and a half stone, um, and I was seven stone, like two or three, I so badly wanted to be seven. Like, yeah, seven, 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 seven. But then when I was seven, and then weeks or months or whatever later, I find out I've gone below seven, and I'm actually like, I didn't go on scales for a while. And then I found out I was like around six and a half. And I was like so not excited, but it's you haven't got you're not putting enough energy in to it's for a start, we all know it's a mental illness, it's not a lifestyle choice. And it's like bear with me, my computer's doing something weird. Hang on, oh, right, I'll keep this quick because it might suddenly turn off. Um, and then as my weight got lower, I never thought it would, yeah, the fact that it was sick something was just like, oh my God, are you going to a new territory? You're suddenly in a new territory. And then I know, and then it got to six and a half and I thought, right, I know six and a half, I can live at six and a half, I'm fine in this body at six and a half, I'm, 
I, I can cope with looking at myself, you know, I don't have estrogen, I don't have any sort of female, well, you know what I mean, minimal female, it's, uh, you know, all that stuff, yeah, and I could still function. However, now hovering right bang on, sometimes I'm just under, well, I'm, eight, I'm about 84 pounds, which is six stone, and sometimes i'm a pound or two over sometimes a pound or two under but as my eating disorder psychiatrist explained which is why he now measures my arms um and does measurements is because of even wearing my hair down or up bubbles jewelry uh the weight of my clothing be it very little or whatever anything even glass of water have i been for a you know, a to the toilet anything could affect it um and i'm trying so hard to tell my head you don't want to be five stone something because that then takes you to a new territory and this is the problem and anybody who suffers this illness and especially i've on and off over the 23 years I've had to deal with it on many occasions and go through recovery which is worse to me than the illness itself is like it's absolute hell and um yeah so that's all I'm going to say but I hope that goes some way to explaining the mindset of an anorexic it's it's like it's like you've got your rational um intelligent side of your head that knows what they would tell other people to do or not to do or how to help and then you've got the evil the the real evil one that says no no you're a failure if you don't drop below six stone then you failed you failed because you can't do it you're not able to do it you haven't got the willpower to get under that now I don't want that, I, SJ doesn't want that, I want to live, I, I want out of this but that's why I try and, I'm so glad that I do have the personality I've got and I do have the strength, the inner strength that I've got and I do have the support of the people around me because it's it's imperative you have that and you remind yourself on those days when you're just it's screaming at you don't eat this don't eat that don't do that don't, or do this exercise it's like no stop stop just you really really have to train your brain to and it and it is anorexia is one of the it's got the highest rate i believe See, my boyfriend tells me of um of like you know premature death and etc than any other mental illness and on that note i'm gonna leave it um because i have got things i've got to do today and i know my pc wants to restart itself and update and do things like that but i'll vlog later um i hopefully won't look like the thing that they pulled out the well so what if i do um and yeah i might put leggings on today because i yeah i did notice that the bag i was carrying with my, my shopping gear it kept knocking against the side bone on my leg and i was like ow 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 so then i swap the sides and i do the same and now like the side of my knee bones hurt or i was back in my back <sighs> what can you say anyway right thanks for listening i'll catch up with yours later uh hi to cat hi to Haley. hi to emily hi to joe hi to anyone else subscribed to me and hi to psc um of course i'll see you in a bit with your shopping and yeah love you all take good care uh and later bye bye